they love those sort of moments like that. And there's nothing sweeter for a player to score like that, literally with just seconds left. It's amazing. And actually, that's an example of great character from the team as well, to come from behind, to be able to take all those three points. Yeah, Eddie Howe talked about the fact that Leicester had control pretty much in that second half and, and they were hanging on, but they've got players that yeah. have got pace and, and got quality on the counter-attack. They've hurt teams since Eddie Howe's come into the uh, as manager. That's going to be their style. Hard to break down, but great on the break. What do we think of the job that Eddie Howe's done then since... Terrific. I mean, this, this calendar year, 2022, if there was a division on that, they'd be third in the table. So, so look, they've... they've uh, They've done very well. They've done very well. It wasn't that long ago I was looking at them and thinking, you lot are doomed mm -hmm. because they were rudderless, they were leaderless, they were everything that you look at that, that makes you feel there are certainty to get relegated. Since that's then, there's saying. that table in 2022. That's, that's a lot more like it. And that's not easy to do. That's hard work. As Dean said, some shrewd acquisitions. But togetherness, the club is together now. That's the deal. That's the biggest deal, the biggest... Asset they've got as a club is that they got 60,000, best part of that, going in there every week. And when they're with you and behind everyone, then it's a tough place to play. And actually, recruitment-wise, as you mentioned, it's not just about going and getting all the best players you can. It's actually about getting the right players that fit the club. Yep. And the players now look like they've really come together. Yeah, and, and the summer's going to be fascinating to see which direction they go. Do they stick with the start of the recruitment that we've seen in terms of the players that they're going for or will we see some massive stars because ultimately you know they've got a lot of money to spend mm. and the wages that they'll be able to offer will attract certain players so it's going to be fascinating but really important they get the right type of character I've, in. I've seen before Seema where owners want to try and throw everything at a manager yeah. particularly new owners and wealthy owners too they want, to, they want to give you the best players. Yeah, don't worry. You can, whereas for Eddie, he might want the sort of calibre of player that Dean's talking about, not necessarily off the absolute top shelf, mm -hmm. but boys with ambition, boys that want to get better, boys that are hungry And get to the succeed. club as well. Yeah. So, so that's going to be difficult for Eddie to juggle that and manage that, make sure he gets what he wants, not necessarily what the owners feel like they want to gift him and give the fans. But also, I guess it will be easier for him now that they aren't in that relegation scrap and that they're, they're further away from it? Does it make it a bit more of an attractive club to want to come to, knowing that, OK, they've, they've not had to be in that fight until the end? Yes, it will. It will, definitely. But I'm going to let him enjoy the rest of the season <laughs> because the expectation is going to be huge next season with the, with the uh, money that they're going to have to spend in the summer.